is good, yo. It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're going to be going over the six new Evo cards as well as the Diamond Andrew Bogut and the Pink Diamond Cameron's Tom Cameron Thomas added to NBA 2K23. My team, first thing I want to say is, man, Cam Thomas is a hooper, man. No if, ands, or buts about it. If you are new to my channel and have not yet, though, make sure you guys do smash that subscribe button. We're on the road towards 110,000 subscribers. Sam Cassell up first, 6'3", six, 6'6", six, six wingspan. Now, this is what the Sapphire Sam Cassell that we got in Season 2 originally looked like. I mean, defensively was horrible. Just as an overall card, wasn't good. Can he be good? No. He's got Gary Trent Jr. base and, I mean, pro dribble style. It's going to be hard for Sam Cassell to be good. He does Evo to an Amethyst, which does make him quite a bit better, but he still can't dunk, still is not great defensively. And again, as much as I want Timberwolves Sam Cassell to be good, he's just not good. And again, that, that, that that's not me being biased. It's not me slandering him. It's just the way it is for Sam Cassell. Card is not great. Dan Issel up next, 6'9", 7-foot wingspan. Hot spots from a four out, or from only one hat out of, I guess, the five spots. Now, originally, Dan Issel couldn't play much defense, but he did have a decent three ball. And he's got the Kevin Love base, which I personally like. So with the Evo, okay, goes to a diamond, gets six out of favors, 20 on gold, one on silver. Defensively, gets a lot better. Now, is he elite defensively? No, I'm not going to sit here and, 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 you know, talk him up to the moon and say, you know, that he is absolutely incredible defensively. He is solid defensive. That's all I'm going to say. Can't sit here and, and gas him any more than that. Hall of Fame catch at you with the Caleb base is really nice. Can dunk the ball better. And again, defensively can hold it down. The fact that he goes from an amethyst to diamond, look, if you need clutch time offline wins, Dan Isso is a solid enough guy that I feel like would be a very kind of smooth to run with. Sidney Moncrief up next, 6'3", six, 6'6", six, six wingspan. Now for Sidney Moncrief, here's what I'm going to say. I like his release. Okay, I don't know about the Frank Jackson upper. I don't know. Pro 2 leaner, pro dribble style. But I like his release. He's 6'3". If his dunking and three ball get better, this could be one of the best diamond point guards in the entire game. And I, I'm not even trying to sit here and gas it. 28 base badges, 6 on Hall of Fame. Gets Hall of Fame anchor, challenger, Love Menace and Pig Dodger gets better defensively. Three ball goes up to a 79, which is not bad. Does it make this card worth using? No, but I'm telling you guys right now, if they would put his release on quick and give him a better dribble style, he would be up there. Okay, because here, here's here's kind of what I'm trying to here's what I'm trying to get to. Okay. When we did see all of these spotlight sim cards, we got a really we got some really solid point cards. Now Dennis Johnson, he was probably ahead of the rest. And again, I'm not trying to sit here and gas Dennis Johnson, but when you compare their stats defensively, they're relatively similar. Now they're not the same, but they are relatively similar. I'm telling you, Sidney Moncrief, if he had a few more badges, could be really absolutely incredible in my team. Still with that Evo, maybe a guy in like triple threat offline. Uh, and clutch time offline worth using. Isaiah Thomas up next. This card's not good, okay? When you do Evo, him gets 10 Hall of Famers, gets a little better defensively, gets Hall of Fame quick first step clamps club, gets, you know, some of those shooting badges, gets limitless range. But at this point, with Trey Dribble style, you can't make Isaiah Thomas good. And that's not me, you know, being really low on Isaiah Thomas, but he's six foot one. He's got Trey Dribble style. His release is gonna be fine, it's gonna be good enough. But this card is not great. I'm sorry for Isaiah Thomas. The card's not great. Greg Oster tag up next. Big shout out to Cheap Ludes, man. Without him, we would have never got a Greg Oster tag uh, Evo. Now, am I really pleased about the Oster tag Evo? Well, he is seven feet two. Okay, we does Evo up to an Emmy. So, I'm gonna say this right now in the easiest way possible. If you need wins in triple threat offline or clutch time offline, Greg Oster tag is the best center to run. Because he's going to come in registered at a goal, then he's going to have Amethyst stats and badges. Gets Hall of Fame Master, Brick Wall. Gets solid enough defensively. Okay, not going to be able to shoot, but dunking-wise, it's fine. Again, probably the best card you can run in triple threat offline and clutch time offline. It's that simple. Greg Ostertag is a card that, if you have, is really valuable right now. It's I'm, Again, I'm not trying to sit here and gas him, but it's, it's the way it is right now. Oyster take is very important to have if you are a grinder of offline modes. 
Rolando Blackman up next, and I've always thought Rolando Blackman has potential. Now, I don't necessarily love his release or dribble style, but it's just, you know, his frame, shooting guard position, does Evo to a diamond, gets an 83 three ball, decent driving dunk, decent speed, decent defensively, 88 speed ball, 86 ball handle, solid defensively, playmaker wise, solid, Hall of Fame, mini magician, volume shooter, five, you know, fine finishing badges as well. But he's got a basic leaner, Trey Young dribble style. I mean, those are the things that I do not love. So when it comes down to it, I mean, Sydney Moncrief and Dan Issel are probably the two best cards uh, after the Evo. I'm probably the most excited about the Greg Oster take Evo just because it's going to be easy to grind offline modes with the card. And in general, guys, I'm just glad we're continuing to get Evo cards. I, I'm not, I, it's that simple. I really am glad on that. Now let's look at the two other cards that did come out today. Andrew Bogut, take over reward. Let's look at him first. Seven feet tall, seven three wing span, no power forward eligibility. Only a 63 three ball, 70 speed. The card's not good. And that's, again, I'm not trying to sit here and slander anybody, but the card is just not good. Only a 63 three ball. Doesn't come with any shooting badges. Yes, on the interior, Andrew Bogut is going to be fine. But why would you run Bogut over a guy like Wang, over a guy like JaVale, over any of these guys that we have, over even Candyman or Rudy Gobert, my favorite? Why would you run Bogut? You just, you don't, man. There's there's really, and, and again, I'm being completely honest with you guys. There is absolutely no reason for anybody to be running Andrew Bogut. And then that's not me slandering him. That's not me, you know, talking down on him. That's just a pure, honest truth for Andrew Bogan. Now, for Cam Thomas, here's the deal. Pink Diamond Moments cards, awesome, okay? But the problem is he's 6'3", no point guard eligibility, 6'7", wingspan. And look at the defensive stats of Cam Thomas. They're absolutely horrible. I mean, how fun would it be if we actually got a usable Cam Thomas that people wanted to use on their team? It'd be fun. But the problem is even his sigs aren't good. 2K is so reluctant to give us good moments cards. Like, how many... Let, let, let's just go through these real quick, okay? For their specific tier, were they good or bad? Kelton Johnson was okay. Killing Hayes, bad. Royce O'Neal, not good. Jeremy Grant was good. Jan Brunson, okay. Eason, I mean, I never really used him, but he doesn't look that bad. Like, Tari Eason actually looks a lot better than, you know, Cam Thomas, for example. Nemhard stinks. Kessler stinks. Duran stinks. Drew was good. Jose stinks. Cam Thomas stinks, Zubox stinks, Laurie was okay, Embiid was good for his time, Lillard stinks, and Dino was good. So, I mean, my whole thing is most of these moments cards are really not good, and they could make them somewhat decent. I just don't get it. We used to, in past years, see decent moments cards. This year, it's just not been the case. So, when it comes down to today's content drop, I hate to break it to you, there's really not much here. And, and I'm, again, I'm, I'm not trying to sit here and, and be negative all the time. But when you look from top to bottom, what is there to be excited about? Dan Issel, Sidney Moncrief? I mean, if you're, man, if you're banned, there's nothing really to worry about outside of grinding for Andrew Bogut if, you know, after you get banned, if you want Ray Allen. But Ostertag is the, is the big name that, yes, after the Evo, he could possibly help you out in offline mode. So probably high on Ostertag, low on probably literally everybody else, like, Literally everybody else, especially this evo up Isaiah Thomas. Let me know your thoughts on the new Evos down below in the comments. Also, let me know on Cam Thomas. Are you guys glad they still put him in the game? I just wish they'd make him a little bit better. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.